I chose McGill's campus for my last video because in a small area it manages to exemplify all of the building trends that are commonplace in the city. The Roddick Gates, first built as a monument in 1924, are a welcome start to the architecture of the school. The Redpath Museum and the Burke's Chapel are highlights of the campus. The museum especially is unique as an example of the Greek revival in North America. McLennan Library is where things start to go south. Derided as a cinder block by students, its late 60s construction reflects the rise of brutalism as a design choice. Its concrete exterior seems to enhance the already depressing atmosphere of the library. Burnside Hall is another example of this totalarian style. McConnell Engineering is just an example of lazy addition to existing Victorian buildings. The absolute worst offender against taste on McGill's campus has to be Rutherford Physics. Designed by the same architects as McLennan Library, it seems to be an office building transported from Dubuque, Iowa to our fair school in Montreal. On one side of campus, we can see the high style and care put into building McDonald Harrington, and turn directly around and see the chunk of concrete we call Leacock. I was surprised when researching this project to find that an apartment building I walk by every day on the way to school is listed as a historical site of Canada. The Marlborough Apartments were constructed in 1900 and were chosen as a prime example of the Queen Anne style. Its red brick facade, Oriel windows, and free Renaissance style are a breath of fresh air when confronted with the often drab apartments usually seen in the McGill ghetto. Despite the gray buildings I may take my classes in, this sterling piece of work is a visually appealing bright spot in my day.